John Ray published a book called Blow Boy. It's about an adolescent boy who has schizophrenia who got released from the hospital. He decided to go down to the New York subway tunnels. During his journey, he had hallucinations and delusions. They got increasingly worse, so during the book, you wouldn't know if he was talking to a hallucination or, or an actual human. The subway tunnels represented the dark places in his mind. Schizophrenia is a disorder of the mind that involves hallucinating, and it also has different causes, symptoms, and treatments for everyone. Today, I will share with you the different causes, symptoms, and treatments for schizophrenia. There are three main causes to schizophrenia, genetics, brain chemistry, and the environment. Genetics play a small part in schizophrenia. There are little genetic things that happen in your body that can trigger schizophrenia, but it's not that big. Brain chemistry controls your emotions, behavior, and your thinking. There are different brain chemicals that are either too active or they're not active enough. And finally, the environment plays a big part. There are different infections that can happen during birth, and there are also different stresses that can happen during your childhood. So if you witness something happen or something traumatizing happen, that can trigger schizophrenia. Schizophrenia often surfaces during hormonal changes, so early 20s, late teens is when it usually triggers. While causes for schizophrenia may seem very clear, the symptoms can widely vary from person to person. According to the Mayo Clinic, symptoms include delusions, hallucinations, abnormal motive behaviors, disorganized thinking, and negative symptoms. Delusions are false beliefs of reality. So you might think you can fly or you might think you're famous, but you actually aren't. Hallucinations are when you think you are seeing something or you may think that you're hearing something, but they aren't actually there. So you might think that you see your mom who passed away like five years ago. Disorganized thinking is the communication part. So you might ask a person who has schizophrenia a question and they may completely or partially answer it, but it's not related to the topic at all. Abnormal motor behaviors are when they start acting childlike or they might get agitated really easily. Negative symptoms are, is the emotions. So they're not gonna have any facial expressions, they're not gonna make eye contact, and they might neglect personal hygiene altogether. While there are many different symptoms to schizophrenia, there are many different treatments also. The main medication, the main treatments for schizophrenia are antipsychotics and therapy. So antipsychotics are the most common, and then there's also psychosocial therapy, which happens after they get done with the hallucination and delusion phase. So they need intervention and they need to talk about their thought patterns. And there's also social skills training, which gets them back to their daily lives. So they're going to shower more and get back to their personal hygiene and do day-to-day -day activities. There's also family therapy, which helps educate the family so the person doesn't go back to a relapse. Today we learned about different causes, symptoms, and treatments for schizophrenia. There are many, many more, and those are just barely scratching the surface. But this disorder is being researched more actively.